Hi, my name is Douglas Walls and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Central Florida. Um, today I, I am going to talk to you about the book Designing Web-Based Applications for 21st Century Writing Classrooms by George Pullman and Batong Gu. It's a compilation. Um, and I want to begin by kind of talking about origin stories and the importance of origin stories, um, particularly into projects like this. So this particular project, I think, begins uh, way back in 1993 um, with Paul J. LeBlanc's writing teachers writing software, creating our place in the electronic age. Um, and a lot of the book chapters in here kind of talk about how important that text was in their ideas for developing not only their own writing platforms, but for appropriating uh, writing platforms. And so the, the editors kind of mentioned that there are a variety of reasons and a variety of origin stories for why writing teachers might choose to develop their own platforms or modify uh, platform writing and digital platforms that already exist in the kind of the commercial sphere. Some of those have to do with kind of dissatisfaction with content management systems. Some of it has to do with certain functionalities like uh, review functionalities and being able to reward that. And, and there's lots of variety of, of, of reasons. So I think the idea of origin stories is pretty important. Um, with an origin story, you get a sense of not only kind of who you are, and, but also kind of what your potential is for a field and what do you use that potential look like uh, manifested at different places. Um, and you get a lot of those with this book. Uh, to begin with, the, the book is divided into three sections. The first one is uh, called Writing Environments. And pretty much anyone who has been to a conference in the last five years, either at kind of interested in these issues, either at Computers and Writing or C's, will recognize a lot of the platforms mentioned here. Um, the chapters include uh, a chapter on Eli from Michigan State, a chapter on Emma and the origin stories of Emma from uh, University of Georgia. There's a chapter on uh, Raider Writer from Texas Tech and the writing at CSU portal and that kind of importance of metaphor in that. Um, and finally, that section kind of ends with a chapter by um, Michael Wojcik and Matt Penniman um, on uh, the development of a writing platform in a community class and kind of the importance of thinking about agile design in writing situations. So um, that chapter doesn't really fit with, um, I think, with the, the rest of that section. But that section is filled with kind of getting kind of the backstory of a lot of uh, large scale writing platforms that uh, folks are familiar with in the field. And so there's some background, either in terms of the organization or in terms of the theories that drive a lot of those uh, chapters. Uh, part two is focused on individual and standalone applications. And that's where you get to see uh, more variety, maybe, because these are kind of smaller projects. So um, there's a chapter uh, by Brian McNeely and Paul Guestwicki uh, about uh, Google Wave. Um, there's, a, there's a chapter about um, what I thought was a, a fairly interesting chapter on... Um, on gaming and writing platforms by uh, David Fisher and Joe Williams. Um, I thought that that chapter is particularly interesting because it was about designing games for writers and having people become writers through the design of a game to help people with literature reviews and some other really great kind of projects, but those are a little smaller, so you might not have heard of many of those. Um, and then finally, part three, is about uh, maybe some of the work that we might be familiar with in our own life uh, in terms of kind of modifying open source uh, projects to get things done at maybe more of the classroom scale. There are two pieces on wikis, uh, one by Carl Stoley and one by Steve Birkinghoff, and then uh, a piece on applying blogs instead of course management software by Stephen Krauss. So what is this book good at? Uh, I think that origin stories are pretty important um, in terms of where you might be in your own uh, department and thinking about 
proof of concept. So a lot of times we might think, gosh, I wish I had a writing platform that did this thing that I know how to do as a writing teacher. Or I wish I could get people to believe that we could manage resources and push concepts out and we don't have to kind of accept terrible um, commercial options. And so I think a, a lot of the, the stories here kind of point to that. And it also kind of points to it in a way that um, I think are pretty interesting in terms of the variety and different ways of thinking about what writing is as an activity in terms of content production, in terms of um, review, in terms of community organizing, in terms of literature uh, review and kind of helping other people to learn by creating things that help them to learn. So I think that there's a kind of a, a wide variety at its best. This compilation is at its best when it's doing a wide variety of talking about different ways that different things come to be. Um, and it's also nice to have uh, large scale platforms like I've mentioned the Eli's and the Emma's of the world, uh, stories about them located in one place. Um, those, a lot of those have been around for a long time now and uh, having them a place where you can hand them and kind of give them to grad students and say, here, this is what people are doing in, in different places, I think is a nice, uh, a nice book to have. Um, there are some really nice uh, discussions, I think, between the idea of writing and developing that uh, chapter I was talking about uh, with uh, Penniman and Wojcik is particularly interesting to me about that. And, and I think that the difference there is a lot of times people compare writing to coding, and I'm not sure those processes are as similar as the idea of writing and developing are. And so there are some kind of interesting ideas that we might take away there into different either writing situations or different development uh, situations. And of course, um, getting all these different kind of varieties of, of what writing is and different types of software and development that support different types of writing activity kind of gives us, um, um, offers a complex notion of, of, of what writing is, just complicates that very act, you, you know, when you're talking to people, it's not just Word or, or uh, Google Docs, so they can, it's all these other kind of complicated delivery issues and review issues and uh, sustainability issues. So I think it's nice to have those in uh, one place. Um, what could they have done better? Always the trickiest part of uh, a review. Um, I'm not sure I'm, oh, the organization seems a bit off. Um, some of it, you know, for the example, the, uh, the chapter on standalone writing platforms, it begins with a piece that was an add-on to uh, Google Wave, which is now defunct, of course. Um, so it's not really as standalone as it might be, um, but certainly those big projects like uh, Raider Writer and Writing at CSU kind of belong together. After that, I'm not sure about uh, the organization. Um, and it's a pricey book. I was looking at it. Um, I got it, of course, because of the review for free, but it's a very expensive book, uh, either in hardcover or softcover. It's over uh, $60. So, you know, the thing about that is this is the kind of book, especially with those kind of large scale programs, if you're not familiar of them, with them, like say uh, you're at a... Uh, a small university or you're a graduate student and you want to find out about those projects or you want to catch up to speed with those projects, this might be the book that you go and get. Um, but it's kind of harder for those people to obtain a book that that's expensive. Um, but, you know, that's always a problem with kind of uh, academic presses. So I'm a big believer in having kind of origin stories, being able to tell you not only where you have been and what's around, but also where you want to go. I think that there's enough potential here in these different types of origin stories and then enough levels that one could kind of pursue writing one's own base, one's own um, writing platforms and, and, and gathering resources to think about uh, ways of doing that at different scales. Uh, my name is Douglas Walls, and this has been a review of Designing Web-Based 
Applications for 21st Century Writing Classrooms by George Pullman and Batong Gu. Thanks for listening. That is not the case, actually. Carl Stoley wrote... What do I do with this now? So that's an edit because I got an author's name wrong. Carl Stoley. Um, and,